Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back with another Seven Days to Die mini tutorial uh, where I will show you how to craft and use some of the essential items from early in the game so that you can uh, thrive and survive. So let's get to it. All right, and today we're gonna take a look at the forge. The forge is one of the essential things you need to craft soon in the game, um, as soon as you can really, and you've got a place to, to put it. Um, and, and some of the main reasons why are the just the great things that you can get from the forge. The forged iron, the forged steel are really important for building tools and different upgrades. Um, but also, uh, you know, you can um, craft a number of items in terms of ammo from the iron arrowhead, uh, the steel arrowhead, but also once, you know, you've got um, uh, a rifle or a pistol, in order to make more ammo and not rely on just finding it, you need to create bullet casings and bullet tips. And you really could dedicate one whole forge just to these two, which really is, is kind of the approach that I take where I'll have one main forge here and I'll have mainly iron, uh, sandstone and clay in it so that I can uh, craft iron steel as well as cement um, for a lot of the upgrades and empty water jars so that I can get more water um, and have the other one running almost, you know, you could almost have it running full time, uh, just creating bullet casings and bullet tips so that you have uh, a steady supply of ammo. And the way that you unlock the forge, uh, if you don't have it, if it's locked like um, some other things may be, for example, advanced bellows. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't have know how to craft that. <clears throat> so you either need to find the forge schematics. Um, in some cases, there isn't a perk associated with it. So if you click on, uh, if you look for a forge, and it's locked, it'll say you'll see two things here. One will say forge schematic, and then there'll be a perk. You can click on that, and it'll show you which perk um, under intellect. If you look down under advanced engineering, and uh, I believe it's blacksmith. You are now blacksmith and you'll forge iron and other metal objects. Yeah, craft forges and craft items with forges 20% faster. So this is a uh, blacksmith is one that you can buy for just one um, point and it's available early in the game. Um, but if you, if you don't have that enabled because you haven't found the schematic sooner, you can spend points to be able to craft your forge. So let's take a look at what's needed to craft uh, a forge. Um, you don't need to craft anything in advance of crafting the forge. You just need to collect uh, the items required here. You don't need a workbench or anything. You can, you can just craft this on your own. Uh, and it's not too bad from a resource perspective. You just need 50 small stones, 60 clay soil, 10 leather, three duct tapes, and three short iron pipes. And you should really be able to get these uh, even just from looting homes uh, around a village. Um, you know, that should be sufficient to, to get these items. So we'll go ahead and craft that. It's going to take a minute and 21 seconds. Uh, while that's going, let's talk about how this works. So the forge essentially has fuel, um, and there are three spots for fuel. And basically the reason there are three is you could have different types of fuel. So you can see here I've got 1,800 uh, 41 coal and I could have you know some wood stacked in there uh, you know if that were to run out so you know this will run through the amount of coal that we have and then start burning um, you know more wood now when you are um, in the middle of smelting uh, down materials you you can't add any more to this particular uh, you know, block here, that, that type of fuel, you can add it to the other two though. So that's the other thing you could do is if you don't want to turn it off, um, you know, you can just add more to these other two. So you could have, you know, multiple of the same type uh, if that one is blocked. Uh, and then there are tools that you can add into your, your forge. So the first one is the advanced bellows. So this one increases your smelting speed by 50%. The anvil, which is really uh, useful because it in, in increases the crafting speed uh, by 50%. But you can, you know, you can smelt uh, without those, right? So I'll turn this on. You'll see that I can uh, still forge iron, right? So um, 
you know, these are still all lit up. These will just allow you to go, uh, in this case, this will craft faster and this will smelt faster. So uh, if we look here, when this winds down, the clay will pop back up to five. And if we have the advanced bellows, it just goes up to three, right? So it's a, it's a bit faster. And then the last one here is the crucible and the crucible I don't have yet uh, at this level at this date of the game um, but you'd need that for certain items uh, like the forged steel you'll see here crucible required and if something is required it'll tell you uh, you know what it is in this case it's really the only thing that I'm missing is the crucible so you add the tools that you have available and you know keep an eye out, an eye out for these and save them when you find them uh, you have your fuel area that will power the forge. You have what is being smelted, right? So right now I've got uh, small stone and clay being smelted. Uh, if I wanted to swap this out, right, you can be smelting two different items at the same time. And those get stored, essentially stored in the forge so that when you decide you want to say craft some forged iron, here we can uh, well, if we just look at one, um, it'll show you per item, right? So for each forged iron that I want, I need 12 of the iron inputs and six of the clay. And then if I want to do 20, um, you know, I'm going to need two, 240 and 120, and then you just craft it. And so that'll run and come over here as output. Okay, so we've finished our forge. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get that one set up next to this one. And I'm going to bring over a few items that we're going to want to smelt. All this brass and lead. These items I've been saving until I could make this second forge. Um, and let's go up. I don't have another anvil, but I do have... Sorry, I do have another anvil, but I don't have an additional advanced bellows. So we'll go ahead and add that in. You can see that just goes up there. We'll put our fuel in the fuel area. And then you can break down these items into brass and lead respectively, um, but you lose a percentage. I think it's maybe 50% when, um, when you scrap them. So <clears throat> if, you, you know, if you have room, it's always better to uh, just smelt them down whole so you'll get more uh, of those resources out of them um, and you'll see here well, actually this is going to take forever let's move I'll put lead this will go a little faster you'll see that as this smelts the lead count goes up right and as the brass smelts I'll do that over here the brass count will go up and then once we have enough You'll see, oh, I did, uh, let's see. Oh, we need clay for everything. That's something else I forgot to point out. You do need clay for everything because it's used pretty much for your mold. So that's the other thing. You know, you can let these run for a while, but at some point you'll need to put clay in here. And since you do need clay for everything, you know, one, one approach that I do a lot is just to leave clay in the bottom and then put whatever... I want to smell on the top like we're doing here. Oh, we've burned through all of our iron, so let's get our stone back on there. And you can see we got our 20 forged iron. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to um, to the forge. It's, it's really important to get early. Uh, as you can see now, we can create bullet tips and bullet casings. So if we were to create one of each of these, you know, we now have the ability to craft um, with some gunpowder. Uh, let's see if we have some gunpowder we're able to craft some ammo for example and that's pretty much it so hopefully uh, you got something out of this video if you did please leave a like if you'd like to see more of these as they come out uh, consider subscribing and if there's something particular in seven days to die that you want to see a tutorial on um, drop 
a note in the comments or if you have a better way or another idea on how to get the most out of the forge uh, definitely drop that in the comments as well do appreciate everybody watching and uh, all the support and i'll see you back here soon